Um, but have you talked about plastic grass in cemeteries? No, it's not been brought up all night. If you want to come on and talk about it, then please do. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'm not sure about that line of conversation. <laughs> it's come on. <laughs> hello? Hello, hello. Hey, man, you, how are you doing? Is it Bob? I'm all right. Uh, it, yeah, sure, that's fine. I'm in my, my bat cave right now, as you can see. It's really dark in there, man. Isn't it? Is that, <laughs> is, is that you, Lee? Or is that? No, no, it is you. Okay, so you can't hear me, though, even if you can't see me. No, oh, thank you, yeah, mate. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so plastic grass, I've been seeing it in people's gardens for about 10 years. Uh, it's gone from gardens, it's gone to, uh, I saw it a couple of weeks ago, I was at a petrol station and I was filling air in my tires and there was this, used to be this little bit of grass there and now it's plastic grass and you know what's growing through it? Actual grass. <laughs> it's it's seeded in the top and, and it's growing so you know there's that um, my neighbours their lockdown project was significant so they had this old shed they had some they had some really rubbish normal turf and a few years ago the local football club had artificial grass and they managed to get some of it and they just literally thrown it in the garden like one of the, the previous guys was talking about but they never really used it. So one of the one of the kids, he's he's like keen to be a footballer. So they think, well, you know, they're trying to do the right thing for the kid here. The dad, he doesn't want to cut the grass. The mum, she's not interested. Fair enough. But lockdown project, they uh, have replaced all of the grass, and it must be about twenty five meters by maybe seven or eight meters. This area, it's all fenced. It's all properly laid artificial turf. So. It's they've they've gone the whole hog. They have excavated. They had to dig her in for a week. They put down hardcore, tons and tons and tons of hardcore. I was just nervous about the digger next to my garden wall, and um, yeah, this is this is incredible what they've done. They'll never have to cut it. Uh, but if you're practicing football and you're going for a slide tackle, oh, that's going to burn. That's yeah. not. That's never going to be a good thing. So that's that's what's happening there. But. That's not a cemetery, is it? I, I, I don't think it is. Um, <laughs> if, if they've built over a cemetery, I, I think, you know, is it like an Indian burial ground curse? I mean, that's, that's not a real thing, uh, I don't think. So anyway, I my day job takes me into a lot of cemeteries. Uh, I, I, I worked as a gardener, uh, so I've seen it in people's gardens, but in cemeteries, people are going to remember their loved ones and they want to have this little space that is well-kept looking grass. And where you've got someone that's got a lot of trees, well, you'll know this, Lee, uh, trees and grass, it's not a great combination overall for the health of the grass. The big thing usually wins. Yeah. So there's people that are using artificial grass and it could be in somewhere that's almost as dark as my room here. And <laughs> there's just nothing's growing there. There's lucky if it's moss or anything, you know. And there's this bright green, and I mean like emerald green section of grass over the grave space. And today I was in another cemetery in, uh, in Glasgow, and there's a whole section where almost every grave has artificial grass on it. It's incredible. Now, individual. Yeah, yeah. So most people, the local authority, the parish council, whoever it is that cuts the grass, the normal, the actual real grass, but most people go, okay, you know, Fred, the guy, the more he's he goes once a month or whatever, and he cuts the grass, and mum and dad and uncle, uncle Fred and Auntie Jenny are looked after, and that it looks maybe a little bit rough, but it's okay. I'm happy enough with that. It's rustic, whatever. <laughs> but some people they really want it to look perfect all the time, and uh, we, we I'm aware of people that will go almost daily and cut grass at a relative's grave in some places with the, with the electric Milan more possibly a flannel. Uh, <laughs> I don't get paid for that, so uh, that's a freebie for you, Lee. Uh, but if it's a Flymo or other uh, less good brand, then they will go and do that almost every day, and it's pristine. But of course, despite our best efforts, you know, particularly the likes of yourself, Lee, trying to promote gardening is something that actually everyone can do to some extent. Some people just don't want to do that physical bit. So having this bit of plastic grass, knowing that Auntie Jenny or whoever it is. They've got this perfect space with probably plastic flowers as well, quite often, and maybe other other things around the grave space is is incredibly popular and it's growing more and more. So 
it's it's fine up until the point where um, your man that's working, or lady that's working for the council, they're toodling along on a nice ride on more, and the, the blades are spinning and it catches the edge and... Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. So that's that's some waffles about uh, how, plastic grass. Yeah. How is that pinning it down, though? Just peg it. In, in these sort of situations, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're pinning it down. They're sort of uh, wedging it in, you know, cutting down and, and poking it in around uh, various different ways. I don't, I'll be honest with you, I don't spend much, <laughs> much time at the so I've not experienced ah. this. That <laughs> made zero difference with <laughs> me. That's tough. <laughs> I've, not done cemeteries. I've been honest with you, mate. So I've not experienced this, but I, I can only say how do I put this? When I go, don't put artificial grass on top of me, all right? Are you going to get composted, Lee? Yeah, the, well, I, <laughs> it's more morbid chat, I know. But uh, hey, tree, it's tree, life tree, is a part of life, you know? It's a tree, mate. Yeah, well, fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. So, oh, so I mean, my day job, um, if you're on Twitter, have a look at my profile, and then you'll see how I work for the Commonwealth War Graves Commission. So this is not representing them, obviously, here, but uh, the point of our work is, uh, as gardeners for that organisation is to make special places, garden spaces, for people to come and remember those that have, have passed on. Yeah. For us, artificial at work, we don't use it uh, in the UK. Artificial grass does feature in some war grave cemeteries in France and Belgium because the amount of foot traffic that you get going over a certain section to particular graves is incredible. So yeah. that's a little bit like the use cases that we're, we're hearing about earlier with people who can't cut the grass, certain areas that aren't accessible, like, you know, your boat uh, and such other, you know, fair enough. There are places where you can use it, but ultimately it's, it's a no for me if you can see, if you can still see me about to see your thumb point down yeah 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 that's a that's 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 a bad thing yeah yeah Uh, well i never i never knew that app went on mate but um but thanks for letting us know there you go that's that's (laughs) filled in at least four to five minutes and uh but a cemetery chat that which i never thought we'd talk about mate. so that is um wait for the phone in tomorrow talk about worms yeah what are you yeah (laughs) i need some help with some worms i'll talk about it more tomorrow but I've not done well with worms. Excellent. Thanks, okay. Lee. Mate, thanks for calling in. No worries. Cheers. Hello, dude. And you, dear listener, can call in. Just like Bob Ross. Bob Ross. Bob Ross. Bob. Uh, talk about cemeteries if you But I didn't think about that, though. I mean, I know it's a big thumbs down in that sense. Right. Right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um. This is such weird. I mean, I don't know. Um, a loved one would like basically a car. You got a bit, got your old carpet out back. Yeah, we'll just we just chuck it down. Used to be, used to be in the, the weather spoons. <laughs> this bit of carpet, but we cut a bit out because yeah, we quite like the pat. He quite like the pattern, and then we just laid it over the top, neatens it up. 